Hello people YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is F1 2021, this is what uh, I just... Monaco, I, I just can't... I just can't deal with it. it is, the first couple of corners, especially from the back, I mean, that hairpin bend, you're basically, like, if you get out your car and walk, but I just struggle with this Formula track One so returns much. to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world famous Monte Carlo Casino, first opened in 1863. So I'm not, and of I course, don't think I'm going to be that, that, that good enough, to be honest. In um, There's no I really just don't have the, the, the track down. I just don't, I'm not comfortable on it. I, I just can't. To Monaco, then. It's not you know, all with that cars and the well, it's just... That made its debut almost a century ago. I just it's two don't really do have a good performance around here. Of Monte Carlo. It's time to see how our drivers are so stacking up after kind of the yesterday's the exciting qualifying session. My the immense lap kind of from Lewis Hamilton us, yesterday puts him on pole position. And it... I think I'm just going to do like a... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for uh, it. It's... I know you're going to bother picking uh, what strategy we do. Um... Oh, she's just such a, I, I just don't, I just don't do this track well, it's just simple. We're not seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start. Watch the RPM on the full start, we don't want to bog down. Skip the formation lap. Even the formation lap's uh, not easy. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Oh, that's so tight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is just going to be a big, massive jam. This is where the traffic jam starts. First lap done. I'm hoping once we get strung out a little bit more, it's going to be easier. Oh, he's slowed down quite a lot for that corner. Yeah, 
I'm also a bit more aggressive into some corners. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. You've lost some time to the car behind. I need, I need to strap it into second gear for that problem. I mean, it wasn't the worst of starts. Um, Every time I mess up that corner. There's no way I'm going to the functions here to set something up. You're not on. Not in this track. See what I mean? Uh, they need to get voice. They need to get voice commands set up because I, I just cannot go into a menu. I mean, Monaco. I mean, any other track's hard enough, but Monaco is just like physically impossible. A lot of interest there. But we didn't take this corner very well. A new strategy is available on the MFT. Like with the media. I don't know, I don't know what the change was, I don't really care. That's all off top. Back to the race. Oh, my goodness.
Uh, we'll watch it, so yeah. DRS will be offline. There's a fault with the rear wing system. Stay out. We can work on a fix remotely. Me, I'm probably not going to use it. Nah, just went too late there. Somebody went off. I don't know who it was. That's a very you guys. Who is it? So Williams? I don't know who it is. DRS is off. Never just relax a little bit. I'm actually kind of enjoying this race at the moment. Yeah, I'm just getting really... I'm behind the Ferrari, Carlos Sainz, Sainz. Jack is in the pits. Jack in the pits. We're going to box this lap. Push hard on the inlet. Box. Ooh. Oh, that was a little bit. I don't know. I lost it in the. I lost a little bit in the corner there. Um, just up here. Yep. And that just. That beast that would put me into a, just there, put me into the wall when I was I missed that corner. So let's go from here. Power on. I need to 
I'm okay if we, if we hold our, our position a little bit. All corn, yes, all corn. Release, release. Oh, it's some buyers. So it must have been Russell that went out. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Good job, nice overtake. I don't think it was uh, sideways. It was doable. I'm actually enjoying this a little bit. That the race was quite We're leading our teammate by 2.9 seconds. But I thought once we get a little bit of a few stretches out, it's a little bit better. Gap to car in front is 3.0 seconds. some of this battery. I need to calm down a little bit, I'm getting a little bit too much. Push it when we want to push it. This is all coins ahead of Giovinazzi. Start up. Oh, just go away a bit. It's all corn. A right. Ooh, a right was just in front. that corner up so bad. I sometimes take that second gear but I may be overdriving a little bit sometimes. I need to watch. Oh and that corner there is oh. come on
Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember, we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. Yeah, I know. So I need to maybe just drive a little bit. Maybe not as much in the edge. Scrappy now. I don't know if the DRS is still not operating. The gap to the car ahead is 1.6 seconds. Almost messed that up. Yes, it's working, I think. Oh, why? I think that car came out of the pits. I don't know why, it kind of put me off a little bit. I go for the overtake at the bottom of this bit. And I'm just getting really like sloppy. Is there a big carrot in front of me? That's a bit cheeky. Maybe not the cleanest overtakes. Now let's just drive clean. Whoa! Oh, it says it smashes into the wall. Oh! I need to, I need to be really careful. A new Come on, really? It's the, it's the same silly bloody corners you make mistakes.
Yeah, that was untidy. That was really untidy. I'm trying to look at my laps. Hand in the other pedal. Ocon's in the... he's not, he's not a Williams. Ouch. Yeah, that was just silly. But he's, he's not a Williams, he's a uh, Alpine. Sorry. I really need to concentrate a lot more. Sometimes I just get so focused on... Oh, is that an Alpine? Yeah, I can see the Alpine in the back, yeah. I don't like to that. Up that corner there, though, but it was quite a good overtake, I think. Front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making yeah, we're not a bit six stop. seconds. Nah, no chance. Let's just let's just calm down a little bit. Let's just be safe. Oh, okay, no damage.
Right, I'm a fucking idiot! Oh, right, that is just so bad. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what's up. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn uh, the engine off and wait for the marshals. Uh, what's the tires at? Are the tires? Well, the tires went bad, or am I just? I don't know what it is. I think the. Uh... On the aggression, we need clean overtakes or we'll face a penalty. I need to drive a lot easier. I'm sweating buckets now. I don't know what it is, the tyres feel... We've only got no! <laughs> <coughs> Bottas is just basically one, so... I think it's... Oh, I think it's the wing. I think I've got wing damage. Because the car feels really funny. Like, it's spoiled. It's kind of spoiled this race a little bit for me. I need to be, uh, I need to be careful my wing. I've got wind damage. I'm just gonna take on the like, oh yeah, I'm a bit cool. I'm an absolute idiot. Oh my goodness. Oh wind damage, wind damage, wind damage, wind damage. Oh my goodness. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. That wasn't a good finish. At the beginning of the race I thought was, was pretty decent. You know, I thought we got into a bit of a groove on this track. And I thought I thought we actually were kind of holding our own on this track. And Mercedes away. have pulled off a great victory here today. But towards the end they just got a bit stupid. I was kind of overdriving towards Anthony there. Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Oh, I'd say gosh. it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. But yeah, I, I enjoyed, up until a certain point, I really enjoyed it. I was really And I can good. see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. But, uh, a real team India, victory so today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations back. then to Mercedes. Your race winners today. I was a little bit the car just was horrible. So we beat Ocon, which kind of this level we probably would be the better as to be honest on it.
It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be ah, able to move so in this performance today. Hamilton's let's second. move on to the constructors. Mercedes move to the top. That's for you, the highways. That's always scary at Monaco because everybody's just punching. You're always going to drive out. You need to hold your like, own. I think we did sneak up the inside a little bit. Be careful at the first corner. Although we did go up the outside, which was really scary. I think you actually gave a little bit of room. That's always a good place to overtake. That was fairly clean actually. Uh, almost bend it there. Those corners there I feel are really difficult. You always want to get on the power a little bit more. Yeah, we did. We lost a little bit in front wing earlier, so um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best. But that's that's more of the way. I'm, I'm kind of happy that, that I've got that done because it amazing is quite performance a out there. Grand Prix. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You had a bit of contact today. Who was at fault there? Uh, it's the, well, it's probably. No, we'll just say that. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Great. Well, that's everything. Ah, so there we go. I mean, not a bad race. As I say, it got a bit scrappy towards the end, and it was a little bit sort of... I wouldn't say it was embarrassing, but... Um, yeah, we do gain a little bit back in Ocon, I think. So I'll probably do all the kind of like tech side of stuff off screen sort of thing. But it says we've got an issue we'd like see. your input on. Uh, we think you should consider investing more in race weekend merchandising. True, it's unlikely to generate much in the way of profit, but secondary benefits help with today's team's profile. Um, yeah, we'll probably just take it. Oh, well, but thanks for dealing with that. Claim. The departments appreciate it. And that's about it, really. I'll probably do, as I say, I'll do this off screen because this is like technical stuff. It's not really that much of a, a thing. So, Azerbaijan. Baku is actually a little bit better than Monaco. There's more space, but it's kind of similar. So, anyway, hopefully, you enjoyed that. Uh, and I'll see you for more videos coming up soon. I'm just glad Monaco's by. Uh, yeah. So, no whoops.